My fingers hurt. I feel like my hands are so weak, I can't do this. My fingers are numb. I'm never doing this again. Alright, in my last video, we're working on my 2007 Lexus ES350. It's my winter beater, and it had plasti dipped wheels. So we actually removed the plasti dip in the last video. Now it's time to clean these wheels up, fix some of the road rash, and repaint them. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that step by step and all the tools and the products that you need. Now we could paint these silver and be boring. Boring. But I got a fun color. Oh yeah. But first, let's clean them. So we removed the Plasti Dip and I actually thought like the whole wheel was Plasti Dip, but this is not Plasti Dip. This is all built up brake dust residue that has just never been cleaned. So we have our work cut out for us. All right, to break up all this brake dust built on, caked on, burnt on, uh, we're gonna start off with W6 fallout remover. This will help eat through all of that built up. Let it eat, let it eat, let it eat. If you guys have $100 and a full day of nothing to do, this could be a great little project to spruce up and refresh your wheels. So the first step after you have removed your wheels is to get them clean, and these wheels are nasty. So my first couple of cleanings removed a lot of the brake dust buildup, but these wheels are so bad and I need to take some extreme measures. Don't do this next part if you don't have plans on repainting your wheels. I took a heavy solvent, which is a heavy traffic paint remover, and some steel wool and just went at it. That was way more work than it needed to be. Up next, after you got the wheels halfway clean, you don't need them perfectly clean because we actually are gonna be sanding everything down here. We're gonna start by sanding with 80 grit sandpaper and we're gonna sand out all the imperfections. So we have some road rash, we got some bigger stuff up here, we got some chunks missing out of there. We're gonna sand all that down and if we need to, we're actually gonna be using this metal reinforced filler to fill in anything that's that's too deep. But we're gonna get started here. Sandpaper, filler, I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how to do this. In the description below, I'm gonna leave some links for you guys to purchase everything that you're gonna to need to repair and refinish your wheels at home. If you're looking for a super high quality finish on your wheels, I would definitely recommend just bringing them into a shop and have them powder coated. But if you're on a budget and you don't wanna spend several hundred dollars to do that, this is a great way to give your wheels a little bit of a facelift. Starting with the 80 grit sandpaper, we sand down any road rash or chips out of the wheel. I did a very light sanding of the barrel on the wheel. I was not really concerned on how perfect the barrels were gonna be. I was just more focused on the wheel faces. I need a break. Um, basically, I just have to sand everything down now to where there's no shiny parts. And that just takes a long time. That's it. And my fingers hurt. With the 320 grit, you now want to sand down the rest of the wheel. You don't want any shininess left on the wheel. This is very important for paint adhesion. The prep is definitely the most time consuming part of this project, but take your time and do it right because you don't want the paint to start to flake and peel looking worse than it may have in the first place. All right, after you have everything sanded down and you don't have any more shiny spots, you're ready to prepare 
for paint, for primer and paint. Now we didn't really need to use the metal reinforcer filler. If you do have some gashes that you do need to fill it with, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, read the directions, you have a ratio that you mix the hardener with, you mix it up and you'll spread it onto the wheel and let it set out for about 20 minutes and then sand it flat to where there's no more imperfection. We're gonna wipe these wheels down with an IPA solution, an alcohol solution, to clean them up, get all the dust off, and get them ready to primer. And then we're actually gonna tape up the wheel here, and I'll show you how to do that so we don't get any paint on this sidewall. I'm actually replacing these wheels in a couple weeks, so I don't really care if I get a little paint on there, but we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's start getting some color on these things. All right, you can use any of these three products. These are all gonna work. This is an IPA solution. This is just alcohol and water mixed. I think it's uh, about a 50% mix there. Rust-Oleum wax and tar remover. And then the Meguiar surface prep. These are all gonna remove any oils, polish and oils. They're gonna remove the dust. We're gonna clean it to make it super clean before we apply the primer. Obviously dust, debris, and any dirt will interfere with the final finish, so just wipe down the wheels really well and then use masking tape to cover the face of the tire. You can see I'm just ripping off small strips here and then wedging them in between the tire and the wheel. Alright, need to find a place to paint them. want to get as far away from other cars as possible. If you're spraying too close, you may end up getting paint overspray all over the other cars near you. I forgot the mask. We should just tell people this takes way too much time. Just find somebody else to do it. <laughs> First up is the filling primer. This is going to help fill any of those sanding marks that you have in the wheels, and it'll also prime the wheel for paint. Start by spraying very thin, light coats in a sweeping motion. If you lay on any paint too thick, you're gonna end up with runs. And you're gonna need two to three cans of this primer if you're doing the face and the barrel of the wheel. All right. After 20 minutes, uh, we're gonna sand down lightly with 600 grit and then we can start laying down some color. Lightly sand the wheels again to knock down any roughness from the primer and then wipe the wheels clean again. It should feel very smooth to the touch. All right. Now we spray again. All right, I'm ready to see some gold. <laughs> Ready to see the payoff. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, the time has come to lay some color and this is a wheel specific paint. I was trying to order some rose gold, but I got this copper paint instead and I'm all right with that. So same as the primer here, you just wanna work in small thin layers. I ended up doing about four to five layers with the color. And if you're doing both the barrels and the faces, you're gonna want three to four cans of this color. Many, many minutes later. I did mess up a little bit on one of the center caps and that's why you only see three here now, but you're gonna paint the center caps. And then if you want, you can put a clear coat layer on. Time for clear coat. They look good in the sun, don't they? Yeah. Love it. 
You can leave them looking matte because this is a wheel specific paint, but here I'm gonna put a layer of clear coat on just to have that extra couple layers of protection. All right, let's put them back on the car. Wait. Forgot to do the Instagram story. If I don't post it on Instagram, how is anybody gonna know what's going on? If you were following us on Instagram, you would already see the finished results. I did it for the gram. Now, they can go back on the car. We need the center caps. Do we need an outro? I feel like outros are overrated because nobody gets that far in the video. I'll do one. All right, if you made it this far, you're probably interested in doing your wheels, so look in the description below. I'll put all the items and products that I use in this video in the description. Check it out. Let me know what you think. See you later.